Welcome back. I'm impressed that you've made it this far. Well, the next step is to talk about compensation, and this won't be as hard as maybe you think it will be. Let's get started. With compensation, the body is always trying to fix the pH. What we've seen so far is that a high CO2 is called a respiratory acidosis, a low bicarb is called a metabolic acidosis, and a respiratory alkalosis is called a low CO2, and a metabolic alkalosis, a high bicarb. Let's start with the compensation for respiratory acidosis. And this compensation can only occur if it's a slow, gradual rise in CO2, such as what happens with a COPD patient. And given adequate time, the kidneys will shed hydrogen ions and save bicarb. By doing this, the body corrects the pH. High CO2, high bicarb to balance it. pH is an indicator of the balance between acid, CO2, and base, bicarb. If one goes up, the other must go up to offset it. What about when they're both down, however, like you would see with the compensation for metabolic acidosis? Remember from part four how bicarb can go down because of DKA or lactic acidosis? Since the brainstem chemoreceptors respond to hydrogen ions, by increasing the respiratory rate. This will then lower carbon dioxide and compensate for the metabolic acidosis. Again, think of the balance between carbon dioxide and bicarb. If bicarb goes down, which is not enough base, then CO2 acid must be taken away. Now what about the alkaloses and compensation? What about compensation for alkaloses? A hyperventilating patient like you see here is not likely to compensate. And that's because the source of the hyperventilation would probably be fixed before the kidneys had the time to compensate. Although it could happen. Not very common. So for that reason I said not compensation for respiratory alkalosis. Finally, how compensation is not likely to occur, occur for metabolic alkalosis. If bicarb is too high, the only way to compensate is by adding too much acid, which means retaining CO2, which means hypoventilating. And the chemoreceptors won't let you do that, generally. Since this, is, since this is so uncommon, I said not compensation for metabolic alkalosis. Thanks for coming. Oxygenation is next.